A report by the Free Press Journal published recently stated that more than 88,000 crore rupees of 500 rupee notes were missing. Well, the good news is that the RBI has refuted the claims. So, the notes are all safe. But wait, what exactly happened? Yeah, a report uh, appeared in the Free Press Journal newspaper a couple of days ago which stated that rupees 88,000 32.5 crore of the rupees 500 rupee notes were missing. Now, how this was based on a RTI filing, a RTI reply that was filed by an activist. So, how was this amount arrived at? Uh, basically, the R RTI claimed that 8,810.65 million pieces of the newly designed uh, 500 rupee note were issued, but RBI's releases show that it has received only 7,260 million. The difference is 1,550 million. And uh, the, the RTA report also said that the press at Nashik had issued 210 million pieces of rupees 500 notes in FY16, whereas the RBI records uh, do not show any such receipt. So the activists basically added 1550 and 210 and arrived at the figure 1760 missing 500 rupee notes. And this was multiplied by 500 and the amount 88,000 crores was arrived at and it was it was claimed that 88,000 crores went missing. So what did the RBI say about all this? It says that it has very robust uh, reconciliation processes, there is nothing wrong. If the RBI is saying that the media reports regarding the missing notes are incorrect, what could be the possible explanation behind the missing 500 rupee notes? There is, there is some speculation as usual, you know, in social media you have all kinds of things coming out. The speculation was this money was, you know, ferreted for political purposes. It was sort of pilfered on the way, but that all that is it's very unlikely to have happened. The explanation is uh, simple lapses in reconciliation and accounting, and uh, the notes issued from the press cannot be construed as construed as money. See, it becomes money only when it start it goes into circulation. Okay, only when once it goes to the bank and it enters the ATM and it enters the economy economic activity. Only then it becomes money. Till it till then it becomes only a stock of uh, currency. So there is a conceptual uh, problem in the, in the analysis. And there is also another issue here. There could be some notes in transit which are not added to the currency in circulation. So for instance, uh, they, the currency can be printed in a particular year, but it enters circulation only a year after or the next year. So there is that gap uh, in the amount of money that is printed and the amount of money that is, that is currently in circulation. So it is, it is a process. So that that could also have led to that could also be one of the reasons that led to this sort of a, a fallacious analysis that the money went missing